It's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo here, and we are going to be starting another new series. First, we're doing the Subnautica series, and now we're going to be doing Foundation, which is an early access on Steam. I picked it up for just under $27 the other day, and I love these city building games. I always have. Back in the day, I was a huge fan of games like SimCity. And I've played City Skylines, Banished. I absolutely love Banished. Have attempted to play Life is Feudal, Forest Village lately, but all of these games for city management, including Surviving Mars, have been just amazing games for me to play. And when I started seeing this game, this game being Foundation, I started looking at it going, it reminds me of something. What does it remind me of? It kind of reminds me of a game called Settlers. It's not exactly Settlers. We're not going to say it is. But just the graphics and the, the air of the game itself. And... Well, let's jump into it. And this is early access, so there are going to be some things that are definitely going to be... Let's see. There's definitely things that are going to be... Going to be broken on it, but I haven't found them yet, which is pretty amazing. I'm pretty happy about this. So we're going to start a game in one of these new maps that they have, and it's Fluvial, and that is a river map, and it's going to be pretty and amazing. So let's start the game, and I will walk you through it the best that I can. I'm not perfect with this, but I have been growing better and better with this game. Okay, so we have to pick a starting tile, and we could start here, here, or here. Or here. Let's just look at these starting tiles and see which one's going to be best for us. Now, right off the bat, a lot of people are going to jump right in and try to take one of the coastal tiles, but honestly, you probably want to take a tile that's a little bit less coastal because we're going to want to build a city center that's going to have a lot of room to build a city around it. So I'm actually not going to pick one of these other tiles, which are amazing tiles. And I'm going to do an eeny, meeny, miny, mo between these two. Now, this one's not going to be my first choice because the center of this tile is a resource. And that's really where I want my town center to be, is right in the center of a tile. Um, this one actually, and this one actually, this one might be a good one too, right here. I think I could do this one or this one. Let's take a look. We've got two stone. We've got a big stone. We've got, I think, just because this one has a little bit of coastline, this one might be the one that we do. All right, so we're going to start here. This is going to be our free land purchase. Now we have to build something to start off. It's going to tell us what we have to build over here. Now I'm going to set up my interface the way I want it. This is going to be the first two things I want, which is going to be my workers, my work list, and my villager list. And then I'm going to want this. Well, I don't want that. I want this one right here. Those are the ones I want. We'll, we will name this village after the first couple of episodes, and I will pick one of your suggestions, and I'll probably, you know what, let's gift a game, gift a copy of this game to somebody, so anybody that puts in a usable, usable, family-friendly name for the village is going to be entered into a contest to win this game, and I will give that away on episode four. Okay, so... Let's look at this right here. Okay, so right down in the center, we're going to build something. And we're going to click on this little icon over here, go here, and that's our village center. And I'm going to build the village center right in the center of this tile. Bang! There we go. Okay, first things first, a lumber camp. And I think the lumber camp is going to be best up over here. I'm going to keep these production areas far away from where my home, where, where my homes are going to be. Now, you could hold down the control key and then just move the mouse side to side to get an idea of how to put this in. Let's move this like this, and let's see. I guess we could do it like that, right there. Okay, 
So then we're also going to need a gathering hut, and that's going to be this right here. And then we're going to need a stone cutter's hut, or stone cutter camp, and we're going to put that right here. We're going to try to stay as far away from the town center as possible. And the last thing that we're going to put in is going to be a well right dead center of the city center. I know it's going to cover those resources. It's going to look weird, but I like there being a well right in the center. All right, now I have things that need to be built, but I have no one building it because I have to come over here and assign a couple of builders to things. Just click on the person's name and then choose a job for them. I'm going to send two builders out on their way to get things going. And this is the beginning of the game, and we're going to satisfy this over here, which is quest completed, assign a new builder. We have this quest over here always, which is going to be raise the status of one of our villagers to common. It's going to be hard. We'll get it done over time. Now this over here is going to tell us how often people are going to come into our village right now every 59 days. Right now we have a 0% happiness. Nobody has any houses. Nobody has any religion. Everyone's feeling a little bit disconnected from everybody. So they really aren't happy, so no one's going to come join us. But that's going to change as we complete the quests that come up over here. Now, having these menus up over here is going to be very important. As they complete things, we're going to add people to each one of those places so they can start. So they can start. Come on, come on, come on, get done. Yes, so they can start working those areas. So right now, this gatherer needs somebody. So I could either click here and just assign somebody by clicking on this list over here. There's no villager available. But right now, I just assign Carl and Virginia to it. All right, cool. We got two people on there. And now I'm going to do it the other way, which is to come over here. And I'm going to assign Robin to be a woodcutter. I'm going to assign Victoria to be a woodcutter, and I think we're going to be all right here. We've got woodcutters, we've got foragers, we have builders, and pretty soon we'll have stonecutters. And then we should have the first little bits of production up and running in the game. So there is no extraction zone for the forager. Okay, so we click on this first icon up here. Click on the exact extraction zone, and we're just going to click like that. Now, for the woodcutter, although I put it over there, I'm going to tell the woodcutter to extract things right here because I want this area to be devoid of trees for now. Once they're all gone, we will move them to another place. But this is going to be my homes and industry area in this wonderful city, this wonderful town, or a hamlet as it is right now. So we're going to let him get rid of all these trees little by little. Okay. And of course we're going to want to say that's an extraction zone. So we have a couple of extraction zones set up and we are well on our way to building our first little township here. And you can see we don't have to build roads because the roads automatically get built by where you place everything. So make sure when you're placing things, you're placing them in a manner that creates pathways that you think are going to look pretty or be useful in your township. Going to have a little bit of water here. Still getting over being sick through my throat. So my throat is getting dry. All right, so we're going to have this one up in just a little bit. She's got to go get five tools. How many tools do we have? We have ten tools. Okay, so we got a couple of things going on over here. We have that going on over there. So let's see if we can set anything else to be built. And yes, a sawmill. So the sawmill... We're going to just put like this, right right down over here. I want the sawmill to be a little bit further away from my homes. So we're going to put it right there. I want my homes to have this center area over here. People want to be close to the city center. It makes things very important. 
All right, so building complete, Stonecutter Camp, and we are going to lay two people into there. So, Stonecutter 1, Stonecutter 2. Build and set up a market. So that's our next little item that we have to get done here. So we're going to build a market right in the center of town. Now, a market is a different type of building. You're not going to find it in the general area. You're going to find it in the monument area. Just click on market, and you build a market stall by stall. Right now, all we need is a food stall. So we're going to set this up, and we're going to set it up just like this. Drop that down. I like my green tents, or I like to have green tents for my stalls. All right, let's... Just make sure that this is close to being... I want to put this right on the edge right here. Let's make it like that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. I'm going to put a bench right here. Just along the road like this. And I'm going to put a bench right here. I get a little bit weird with the way I build things. I do apologize. We're going to put a food stall sign right here. And then we're going to do a little bit of fencing around this stall. We're going to, just to keep it from being in people's way, let's keep this fence going up. I get a little bit weird about making sure things are connected. Sorry about that, folks. I'm just a little bit particular. All right. All right. Okie dokie. I think this one right here. Yeah, I think this is going to be all right. Um, fence, and then we're going to curve it in like this. And curve it in a little bit more like this. Just make it go right around it. And that should keep things looking good. And then let's put a couple of barrels over here. And a couple of barrels on the other side. We're going to make things look nice for these people. It probably doesn't matter, but it's going to make things look more believable for us. And then we're going to start construction of it, and that should happen over time. Okay. So now we're going to have people come in 42 days. It's going to be a bit. And we're going to manage these things just by putting them next to each other over here. Let's take a look and see what else we could build. We could build a warehouse. And I think a warehouse over here is going to be important. So I'm going to put this right on this road going towards where they are. Well, I'm probably going to put it like right here. Towards this little area where the road curves. And I think that will make sense to me. Yeah, that will make sense to me. All right, so we got two things up over there. And we have a nice enough area to build all residential over here. Now, these trees are going to get knocked down pretty fast. And after they're done, we're just going to have him extract the trees from this area over here. And then little by little, we're going to move into this direction as we get more and more of these hexagons of space to develop on. So as soon as this is done, we can move on. Right now, we have somebody chopping trees, somebody building this over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prioritize this area. Oh, she's already over here. She's taking care of goods. Who are you, young lady? You are our 20-year-old Kunigundi. Kunigund? Kunigund. I, I don't know how to say your name, but you're doing a smash-up job at creating that wonderful market that we're going to have any day now. Any day now. And we're going to probably just put one of our builders into that market as a salesperson and throw some berries into it since we're going to be getting lots of them. 
Okay, I think what we're going to do is go up to 2x and then 3x until a couple of these things get built. And here we go. Uh, we have a different builder over here now. Who are you? You're a 19-year-old man. And your name is Newcomer? Happiness? Hmm. William. William, you are going to do a smash-up job building this, I am sure. Now we can click on this and we can see the progress they're making over here. He's only going to get to a certain part and then he's going to have to go find some cloth. Let's see if he has cloth. He does indeed have cloth. So that's important. All right. Cloth he goes and gets or somebody goes and gets. All right. We have a couple of things that are going to come online real soon. Get the cloth and build the thing. All right, trees are coming down. All right, is this you coming to get the cloth? Yes, it is. And the market will be done in just a few moments. Let's slow down the action over here now that we know that it's getting built. Just have a few more hits over here for it to get done, and it is done. Now we're going to assign a villager, and we're going to assign this builder right here to the market. Market tender. So we have a builder that's now going to become our market tender. Yeah, I think this will be a nice little village. It's definitely going to get definitely gonna get made all right so I think up oh, there it is sawmill complete we have a new quest and that new quest is to get a trade route we're not gonna be able to close that one out just yet so we now can put something in this stall which is going to be the food and we close out that quest we just got a hundred gold for closing out that quest and now our people could go to the market and buy food which is very important all right, we have a new quest to unlock, and that's to get a trade market, or a tr and sorry, to get a trade partnership. And to do that, we're gonna have to click on the trade icon over here. And these are the people that we're trying to get trade with, and that's Davenport. Davenport port requires 20 planks for that agreement. We shall deal with that as time sees fit. And also. We have Forbidden Land, we have Extraction, and we're going to get more of those over time. And essentially what happens is that over time, you do more and more and more in the game. So you'll be able to reforest, you'll be able to put other things down. One villager lacks housing. More than one villager lacks housing because we have no, we have no houses. Oh, uh, what's this say? Kingdom is recognizing your efforts in establishing your set settlement. Will modify your influence. Okay, that's good. Let's just do that. And let's see if there are any new things. Yes, there is. There is now residential area. So like I said, the residential area, we have to clear out this little blue right here is going to be a circle right here. We want to make it big enough to encompass this whole area around the center of town. And yes, there's an extraction area in here, but that will go away over time. There we go. That will be our area to build houses. So we should see quite a number of houses go up real fast. And now we will start to see some immigration. So we can start filling the slots that we have open. So let's see what else we have here. We have the ability to create some kind of a trade partnership. But before we do that, we're going to have to unlock this or man this. So we still have a day left before we get some immigration. Now, a second thing I really like about this game is if you look here, we don't have to build any of the houses. Is that great? 
Like, we don't have to build houses for people. They're going to come and build their own houses. I think that's utterly incredible. And they're going to build their houses and maintain them over time, changing both their density and their style and their tier. You'll go up tier, have a couple of different styles, have density. It's going to look really good. We just really have to take care of our people. So this is going to be our town center. I want to put a keep over here because it looks like it looks like it would be a choke point for things coming up and down. Okay, so that bell that just went off means that we have villagers that are going to be joining our society over here. Now, we're going to get a lot of we're going to have a lot of immigration at first. And mainly that's going to be because we have to build this economy and we're going to need a lot of people to make our economy run. Now, each land segment we get is going to have a tax value on it. We're going to have to pay homage, pay taxes, to the local lord or the local king in this situation. We're the local lord, they're the king, so we're going to have to pay them our respects with gold. They're going to take quite a lot of it, too. Right now, we're not spending too much. We could look at our budget by clicking on these coins over here, and you can see that our taxes right now were zero. The first area that we got has no tax on it whatsoever. But we do have an upkeep cost right now of right around 30. Uh, we may be making money, we might not be. We'll see how that works out. So we have a couple of people that are just getting to the city center. We have to see where they're coming from. Let's see if we can find them. Where are our wonderful people coming for a job? You can usually find where they are by scouring the map for a pathway. Like here's a pathway. You see the pathway? There they are. See them? They just went through the woods. They're a little bit out from our house, but these are going to be our two villagers right here. We can't click on them here because they're not ours, but as they walk, they make a little path in the grass. You see that? You can see it higher. See it? So they come into your village rather quickly. They're waddling. We can watch them walk. Let's go see if we can watch them walk. And there they go. Not knowing that they're in for it. Um, they came together and they're going to work together. They're going to be our new... Oh God, what are we going to assign them as? Oh, I already said what we're going to assign them as. We're, gonna, we're going to assign them as carpenters. So they're going to be our carpenter... Um, I was about ready to say carpenter couple. What if they're carpenter brother and sister and they like to sing? That might happen. All right, so planks are going to be very important for everything that we do henceforth. They're also a great way of making money if you make a lot of them. So we're going to do that. Yep, our woodcutter is doing exactly what I wanted them to do, which was to clear out this area for houses. Pretty happy about that. And now we, as we get more and more people, we have another six days and we'll get another two immigrants. So in six days, two more immigrants, and they are going to flesh out our wonderful society here because they are going to go and fill up the foragers and they're going to fill up the woodcutters. And then we'll take it little by little from there. Let's take a look and see what we can make now. Stonemason's Hut makes polished rocks, polished stone. We might need that. So, do we have 20 planks yet? I doubt it. They just started working over there, so I don't think planks are going to be something that they have. They have two planks. That's our next quest, is to establish a trade route. So, we definitely have to think about how we're going to get that done. We still have to raise one of our villagers to common status, and we have to worry about this. They're at 68%, and I think that might be because they want a church. So if we take the core over here, 
I can probably put the church. Where would you put the church? If you want everybody to be good. I don't see a reason why we can't put it right here. Um, let's just do this. I know that this is going to be right there. Let's look at an extension A right on the front. And let's move the whole thing back just a little bit. Now we'll look, let's look at our doors. This is one door. That would actually look not bad. What's door B look like? Door B has a stairwell and we don't need a stairwell here. Door C. Hmm. Door C enables me to get rid of that and put that right there. And then get rid of that. And let's put the steeple on. Small tower. What does that give us? Two. That gives us one. We'll do this tower. And then we'll make that tower. Oh, we don't want to make that higher. We want to make that tower higher. Oh, this is just tough trying to pull that up. We want to make the tower like that. That should be good. And then let's move the whole thing right to the edge right here. How's it look? That's our door. It's like, it's kind of like you wish you could lift this up, but lifting this up doesn't do anything. You see that? Yeah, it doesn't, it makes it look like you could. Can I? Yeah, I can't, it doesn't seem like I could lift this up out of the ground. Yeah, I just don't see a way to do that. All right, we're going to just say construct it. Um, we're going to have to have a trade partnership to finish the construction of that one, though. That's guaranteed. All right, so we have nice little roads getting cut over here. Do we have more people? That's the question. We have two days before we get two more people. All right. This will work out for us. How many planks do we have right now? We have 20... No, we have three planks. Three planks because I think they're taking them all to build things. Do you take planks? Yes, you do. You take 15. So you're going to take planks from us. And this over here is going to take stone from us, isn't it? That's a house. No, it's not. Okay. So we've got the warehouse up. And what we're going to do first is just put berries in there. And then we have to actually man that place. And we're going to do that as soon as we get a couple of more villagers in about a day's time. All right. So this is kind of the hurry up and wait stage. So we're going to hurry it up so we don't wait so much. Oh, this looks so cool. All right. So they are... Tearing down all the trees over there like I asked them to. Two new villagers will be joining us shortly. Let's uh, let's pull the rustic church down to here. We're going to have problems with tools because we only have a few left, like 10. And we need 11, so we're going to have to buy some from a trade partner. That'll come, that'll come. All right, so the extraction sites are set up correctly. This is exactly what I wanted, so I can get rid of areas of trees that are going to be for my people. I don't care if there's this many trees over there. To me, that many trees is good. All right. Let's get that, that... All right, what was that? One villager lacks... Okay, new belt buildings unlocked. That's good. Okay, where are we? We're at 19. So we're still waiting on our planks. Let's see. Unemployed. We're going to go and put one in the transporter. 
Then we're going to put another one in the forager so we keep making food. Keep our people well fed. Okay, so we unlocked a couple of things. Let's see what kind of things we unlocked. Nothing here. Oh, we unlocked the forester camp. That's going to be very, 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 very important. Um, I don't know if we're ready to drop this, though. We'll just put that right on the way out of town and we'll figure it out. But I think we have enough to open a trade partnership. We do. We got a trade partnership. We now get a couple of free territories because we closed that out. So, where or oh where do we want to build? This is going to be a tough one. One of our next quests is going to be for... Yeah, one of our next quests is going to be for the keep, and I want to build the keep over here. But we're also going to have to build up industry, and we're going to need the room over here. So we're going to take this one, and this one's free also. We're going to take that one. We'll see how that does, how that works for us. All right. So we got the beginnings of this wonderful village going. We're going to play it just a little bit longer, and hopefully get to a point where we can stop for the evening sit back and see how much you love this game. I love the organic roads that get built um, just from where they have to work and where they have to live. It is pretty awesome indeed. Putting things like the church close to them is going to be important. I'm not going to put the forester over there. I just decided against it. We'll move the forester up over here. We'll just put him into that area. I think we just got another two villagers, so it's kind of weird. Alright, so the forester's camp, I think, once I figure, yeah, once I get that, let's put the forester's camp, like, right about here. That should get built. They're going to cut down trees, make everything work. We'll be good. So that's done. That's done. They're working on this. So we have to set up our trade with this country. So trading resources. We are going to sell everything over 60 of our food. So we're going to raise this number to 60. And we're going to sell everything over 60 and make some money off of it. Planks, I'm going to do the same thing too because planks make us a lot of money when we do that. And I'm going to say all the planks over 50 for now, and only for now, get sold. And then I'm going to say we need to have tools. And we're going to buy tools every time we slip below 10. So that's all set up. Here's our people in town. We are going to put one in the woodcutter. And we're going to put one as a carpenter since we just said that we were going to make a lot more planks. Build a warehouse. Assign tools to the warehouse. That's the next thing that we have to do. So let's assign tools to the warehouse right here. And right there. And we're good. All right, so do we help? The, uh, we don't have any fish yet, so we're going to say keeping it all. We're done with this. How about that? Finished. Okay, so we do have some things to unlock now here because we have 10 serfs. We have two splendor. I think it's called splendor. Yeah, splendor. So we're going to unlock the fisher's hut. We're going to unlock the lord manor. And we're going to stick with that. The fisher's hut, or fisherman's hut, we're going to put up right now. We're going to put a couple of them. We have all this room to put them in, but I'm going to put them close to where they live. So let's grab a fisherman's hut. No, nope, not you. Let's grab a fisherman's hut. So fisher's hut. And let's get them into the water. There's two fishermen huts, and we'll start being able to get some extra food in just a few moments. It's all going well for us. Woodcutter couldn't extract from a resource. 
So the woodcutter is out of resources, and that's where we come in. The woodcutter is now assigned to these areas. And we're going to tell him to cut everything down over here. Now, we can't go all the way over to this, but we're going to go all the way over to this. Because this area that's outside here is going to be our whole village bread basket. So we're going to want all of this taken care of. Okay? So we got that done. And we'll tell it to reforest stuff when we're ready. When we're good and ready. Okay? All right. All right, that's good. And we got our guy back and hitting on rocks. Back and hitting on trees. And we have some nice houses going up. This one has a little chicken coop out in front. And very, very close to this area over here. This one has a table out front. Pretty cute. These two people over here are going to be fishermen. But right now I'm going to put one into the role of a stone cutter. We're going to leave it on 10x for, well, 3x for just a little bit as things start to get built. I'm going to wait specifically for that rustic church to get built because we want to have enough capacity for people that are here. So let's wait for that. Oh, wait a second. I, I think... No, there's no way. There's no way that this is going to be right. Could that expand? I'll worry about that another time. Alright, so we're going to be able to come into this area eventually. But this is going to be where we build our huge area of, uh, of wheat fields. Wheat fields are going to be very important for making bread, for keeping our people fed. It's so soothing watching these little people do so much work. Computer little people, or computer people. I think that was an Amiga game. It was pretty fun. Guy would come over and knock on the screen. You'd have to make sure he had food, he had pets, he was doing things. It was a very tedious game. Come to think of it, it drove me crazy. All right, so we've got this going up now. All right, let's slow down now. Slow down. You are just standing there in the middle of your house. Do you blink? Nope. Now you're here. It's like the depth of field is on, so I, I can't get in to see them. There it is. It's just weird. Everyone looks the same. It's the Stepford Wives. They all look the same. Do they? Yep, they all look the same. Are they wearing exactly the same outfit? It looks like it. Nope, they have different outfits on. Alright, so the one that's waiting over here. Let's see if we need somebody somewhere. We do need another stone cutter, but I'm going to wait for one of the fishing areas to be completed. Our woodcutter is having an issue over here. So I might throw another one in or just move him entirely somewhere else. It is a possibility that I do find happiness in moving him. We shall see. But because we have so many things that are taking wood, all the houses and all the planks that we're making, Wood is not coming in as quickly as it should. Two more people coming. So because of that, I'm going to put this per this person right here into a transporter. That will keep us green in most categories. Oh. 
And we have a beautiful village starting to come together. Well, it'll be about as beautiful as it can be. Sometimes they don't build the houses correctly. They put them in different ways, shapes, forms. Like, no rows of houses. They just turn them in any direction that they want to. And I think that has to do with the way that you lay up, lay out, like, fencing and stuff. But I'm not 100% sure about that. I hear... Sawing. Alright, this shouldn't be too long to get built. They need planks. And I believe I got planks. I have 79 planks. Where are my builders? My builder has to be doing something, right? Are these homes? These are homes over here. So, we're just getting demolished because... People don't have enough... They don't have enough logs to make all those homes. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, you could go outside and help them cut down trees, folks. That would probably be your best way of getting trees. Alright, we are uh, nine days out from having more people. We are at a low of 56% approval rating. And we are going to do our best not to let that bring us down. Now, they're waiting on 20 logs over here, and this one's waiting on 20 logs. So it's going to take us some time to get to that number. We're going to have to do something drastic. We're going to have to let them build their houses, so we are going to put this on full speed ahead and we're going to keep new people from coming in here until all these houses are built and that should be not too long especially on 3x so let's see as people get wood to build their houses how things go so this person right here that came last is going to be the stone cutter I think that should be it. I think the other one's going to be unemployed for a little bit. I don't see it taking. Oh, we didn't get one in there. Stone cutter. Is that enough? Okay, that's enough. So I don't know where that other person went. Alright, we're not going to make too much of a issue about it. We're just going to wait for there to be enough houses for all. Right now, six villagers are without houses. And little by little, they will get, they will get built. I am sure. We keep going up to like four wood and then dropping back down to zero. It's kind of ugly. Well, this might be a good note to stop on so we can move on to the next episode because if we have to wait for the wood issue to be corrected it might take just a little bit more time folks thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk about foundation a brand new game that you can get in early access on steam 26 dollars and like i said i'll be giving away a free copy gifting it to you through steam for someone that helps me name this village and that will happen in the fourth episode so uh, a little bit a little bit less than a week from now so hopefully you all get to see this and make your recommendations on the name as soon as possible. And with that said, well, let's, let's go through the other pieces first. Oh, we just raised 
the status of one person to commoner, and we get two free territories, but we'll pick them next time. So if you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. If you indeed do subscribe, be sure to click on that notifi notification icon so you get notified of all my future videos. And now with that said, you all be safe out there, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.